y'all gonna grill me for this. But you know what it is? I don't get. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new segment. So let me let me say something, okay? Let me quickly say something. Um, when I recorded the video with my sister and we also put one on her channel, um, the views and the comments were crazy. But what I picked up, I'm so sorry, I know this is rude. Uh, but what I picked up from the comments in those videos is that a lot of people liked to see that side of me, that candid, laid back, relaxed side of me. And I thought, why not do a segment called Candid with Cat with a K? Feel me? The reason why is because I've got opinions on many topics, uh, some opinions which are quite controversial, like the topic we're going to be talking about today. And I, I have those opinions and I am free to be straight up real um, and, and, and tell it like it is when it comes to how I feel or what I think about a certain opinion. And this is going to definitely be a segment. I hope that maybe you guys will be part of this by giving me topics that you would like my opinion on. So I'm going to be candid with it. In some sessions, you might see me drinking tea. In some sessions, you might see me drinking a Corona. I've been working. I deserve a Corona. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the very first episode of Candid with Cat. And today we're going to it's we're gonna keep it simple. Today I'm going to be talking about so what if I don't want to get married? So what? I don't know. Do you care? I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. So the reason why this was a first topic for me is because I I cannot tell you how many times I get, oh my gosh, right outside my window is my neighbor's house and they are painting his property. So the painters are busy climbing up and down the roof and they can see me recording. And honestly, I'm not about to budge. Like I have, I'm, I'm in a good mood today, so we're gonna go with it. So the reason why I wanted to film this video is because one question that I get asked a lot is, so, how are you? Are you married now? Somebody, when somebody says that to you, it's just like, fuck. It's like asking somebody, oh, so I can tell you're pregnant. Are you pregnant? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Ungena, P. Like, let's start there. Ungena, guy. Okay? But because of that, I felt like this is the opportune time. For me to talk about my opinions on marriage and they're going to be controversial and I'm not gonna set out a disclaimer and say that oh I don't mean to offend or whatever I don't mean to offend that's a fact that's pretty much obvious what I am going to be doing is giving my opinions whether I get married or not in the future or whatever hey if if, if that is part of my journey if God has called me for that journey great but let me explain something to you this video is to to talk about how marriage is not entirely for everyone we need to understand that it's not for everyone and there are some people like myself who really don't care for the institution of marriage I really don't and I'm going to explain why in this video if you have differing opinions absolutely comment down below I would like us to have a chat about this but this is my opinion I'm not putting out any disclaimers the only thing that I'm going to say is that I do not I'm not going to say what I'm going to say with an intention to offend. I'm not going to offend you. I'm not going to judge whether you're married and feel like, mm, or whether you're not married and feel like, mm. no, it's none of that. I'm giving my opinions based on everything that I've seen, experienced, and just, just my thoughts and opinions on the institution of marriage. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm, he just shook me up. He did. Yeah, he did. Growing up um, black and of African descent and also a female, obviously, um, one of the biggest things that young women are taught in black culture, in African culture, is to aspire to the whole institution of marriage. It, it becomes, it's almost like it's ingrained in you to see it as if it's a badge of honor or a rite of passage that you need to go through as a female that will 
earn you the tick of living a full, fulfilled, validated life. And ever since I started thinking about all these things, I realized that that's not okay. That's not cool. That pressure that is put on young women is just insane. First and foremost, I get asked all the time, when are you going to get married? Are you going to get married before Corona? Are you going to get married? Blah, 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 blah. Do you ask married people why they are married? Like, why are you married? Because I'm asked, why aren't I married? So do you ask married people like, why are you, why are you married? Or would it seem inappropriate to ask someone why they're married? So why do you feel or deem it appropriate to ask somebody why they're not married? Right? So I started having all those thoughts. Because at my age, whether I choose to be married or not to be married is of no one's concern. Whether I choose that my whole uh, um, view of marriage and the institution of marriage is this way and not the conventional way, that is none of anyone's concern. Um, I just feel like we grew up in a society, I'm going to go back to that, we grew up in a society where young women are taught to, you know, it, it, it's seen as such a high accolade that the highest accolade you can ever achieve as a female, as a woman, is to be married and to have a child. Why? Why can't the highest accolade that, that, that you can have as a woman is to be independent and to be career-driven and to travel the world and to be a great singer, and to be a great, like anything else. Why is the highest accolade for a woman seen as to be a wife, and to have a child, or to be a mother? And these are the things that bothered me, um, uh, uh, you know, growing up, and in my 20s, and what have you. Personally, for me, growing up, I've never, I'm just going to talk, the, the, the whole idea of Candid with Cat is we're going to just talk. We're going to talk and we're going to create conversation. There's no tips. There's no going around, blah, blah. I'm giving, my, giving you my opinion and we're going to talk about it. And everything is written down and we're going to talk about it, right? So growing up for me, I would always listen to my friends. And my friends, my childhood friends, who I'm still friends with right now, can attest to this, the, the girls. I would always listen to them and they would talk about, oh, I want my dress to be like this and I want to be able to, you know, I want to, I want, I want a lace one or I want a whatever one and blah, blah, blah. And I want my wedding to be a destination wedding at a beach somewhere and blah, blah, blah. Can I tell you, I've never had these thoughts ever. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. I've just never seen myself as a bride getting married. It doesn't, please don't take it as if um, I, 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 I don't, I don't know, I, I don't think as much of myself in terms of being a wife or a bride or whatever. I just, it's never been ingrained in me. I am thankful for my family because they've never made it, even till today, I can walk into my father's house and none of that kind of conversation will be communicated. And I, I thank them for that. Of course, with aunts and uncles, you can't control that. Um, aunts and uncles are going to be like, who are you saying? Are you married? Blah, 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 blah. And just, some, just because somebody is 30, 32, 35, 40, 50, a female and not married, it doesn't necessarily mean they're single. Or it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not in a relationship or all their relationships fail and that's why they can't reach the destination of marriage. No. No. Those people can be in long, long, committed, years and years and years upon years of relationships with their partner but just choose not to be married. And I don't understand where the problem with that is. You know, I can understand that, you know, you want to commit to one another, you know, in front of the eyes of God and you want to commit to one another in front of the eyes of your family and your friends and all those people. I totally get that. But for me, is if you can't, I don't need a ring 
to validate that. I don't need a piece of paper, a legal paper, to validate that you are committing to me. If you cannot commit to me just as we are, that's a problem. If, if you're going to, for me, it just, it just makes me, it makes me feel like, so what, you wanna commit to me with a piece of paper? That, that, that will then change the whole outlook of our relationship. So from today on, you will commit. I don't quite get the emphasis of it. And I'm not disrespecting anybody who's married or what have you. But what I did pick up when I was watching videos on this, the very few videos that they are, there are videos on marriages and our marriage story and, and, and videos and trailers of people getting married and whatever, whatever. There's barely any videos of people who have my opinion on marriage. And, and I feel like it's because oh, we're so conditioned to see that life of the, the marriage and the videos and the our marriage story and our world story and blah, blah, blah as the right that people are fearful of bringing this side of the conversation to the table because it's just like, could I be seen a certain way or whatever? I don't know. The difference is with me, I don't care. And you know what the funny thing is? It's always women who are going to ask, are you married? Oh my God, so are you married now? Do you have any children now? Blah, 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 blah. Does anyone ever ask men? Like, hey, bro, hey, hey, bro. So are you married now? Like, do you have, do you have kids? Like, uh, do you, are you married? Uh, men are never asked that. Even by family members at family functions and all of that. You will never hear, hi, hi, hey. They might skin it to themselves, but you, they will make a congressional meeting with you. They will sit you in the, meet, in the middle of the meeting and be like, how can they game? Why are relationship being? Is anything happening? Is there something you want to tell us? Game or lesbian? Game da 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 da. Heaven. So even if I was lesbian, do you think I wouldn't want to get married? I, I just. issue with me is marriage I don't aspire to get married I don't see it as an achievement I don't see it as a goal I don't see the institution of marriage being in any way something that will validate my life like I have achieved of the achieved I feel like God also plays a major journey in your relationship in your committed relationship that isn't a marriage maybe that is your journey Maybe it is not for you. It is not in God's plan for your life to be married. Maybe God's plan for your life is for you to see the world, to, 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 to touch other people's hearts in different ways. It literally can be anything that God has planned for you. And I just feel like we put so much pressure on young women from such an early age to put so much value on being the wife of being married to what? I just want to ask women who are mothers to daughters, please raise your children to aspire to be more than just a wife. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they won't want to be married. You know, just raise them in such a way that they have more, they have a bigger drive for other things. You know, like a career and independence and whatever. And we, women like us, who are not married and who have a career and independence, we, we are shunned. Like for real. Like there's always so many explanations as to, oh, she can't land the marriage because of, she's too busy all the time. She's working all the time. She's too independent. She's too whatever, whatever. She's too whatever, whatever. Really? What if I just don't want to be married? Anyway, I just feel like the whole institution of marriage puts a lot of pressure on people, on the men and the women. Being married for me sits as such a pressure point. You're pressuring the man, you're pressuring the woman to get together, to do this, to make babies, to have a house, to do this, to do this. It's unfair. No one should ever be put through pressure like that. No one. No one. And forever, the word forever, I'm going to be with you forever, 
is such a loaded word. I mean, I'm not saying that when I'm in relationships or when I'm in a relationship or whatever, I don't see forever with that person. But I feel like when you, when you marry and you sign legal papers and whatever, it's like you're going, you're putting a stamp like forever. And now the pressure is so intense that should things fail or if things fail, then those people walk out of that union feeling like failures. How is that fair? How is that a fair life for anyone to live? Oh my God, press on, press on dead. It's a lot, it's a lot. I've got so many opinions on this that I just, I cannot. I, and I'm, I'm the person that feels if something no longer serves you, get out, move, leave, do whatever. You know, I'm not going to stay in a union, in a committed relationship and whatever, when it's not beneficial for me anymore. And I feel like legal paper, marriage, what, what, families, whatever, makes it so much harder. That's why there are so many people stuck in marriages where they are not happy. I feel like for me, the key is find the right person for you how you choose to live your life or frame your life or design your life with that person should be entirely up to the two of you or the three of you should be entirely up to you guys and not anyone else and not societal structures and not societal norms this doesn't feel normal for me like i just thinking about it more and more and more that's why all of this pressure has people living in loveless marriages trying to stick it out for the kids what do you mean you need to be happy for your kids to be happy it's just it's a lot like <laughs> it's a lot so for me for me honestly all it means is choosing the right partner and not as and choosing the right partner the right fit for you the right fit someone who when you hold hands it feels right it fits whether you choose to marry them or not shouldn't even be a point at all at all and um i i i really just feel like oh we need to teach we need to teach our young girls that we really do we really do okay that's all i'm gonna say um mothers to girls and to boys teach your children to be to aspire to be more than just a husband or a wife it's it's it really mm -mm, mm -mm. there's lots more to life than being a husband or a wife those are my opinions and if they offend you i i can't say i'm sorry because i'm not trying to offend you you are taking offense to it and that's an issue on you not me I'll see you in the next episode of Candid with Cat. I'll see you soon. Bye.